All right, I, a story I didn't list in the thing, but somebody sent me just before the, 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 the show started. A story out of Canada, a favorite politician, uh, I think in the world, uh, uh, Justin Trudeau, uh, uh, Justin Trudeau's administration, it just seems to top itself constantly in uh, its, uh, in its uh, authoritarian proposals and it's an authoritarian nature. Uh, anyway, the Canada Radio and Television and Telecommunication Commission has released a statement that is, it happened on Friday saying it would advance a plan to ensure online streaming services make meaningful contributions to Canadian, notice this, Canadian and Indigenous content. Aren't the Indigenous people Canadians? I mean, this is really horrific to think that Canada does not consider its indigenous people as, um, as actual Canadians. That's it's not nice. That's, that's really bad. Um, anyway, uh, uh, to quote the statement, we are developing a modern broadcasting framework that can adapt to changing circumstances. To do that, we need broad engagement and robust public record. In other words, they want to regulate social media. Uh, they want to regulate every podcast that uh, every social media company that earns more than $10 million or more in annual revenues. Luckily for me, I don't earn anywhere near $10 million worth of revenues, not even at one-tenth of that. But I am hopeful that you guys are going to help me get to $10 million because I would love to be regulated by the state of Canada, uh, by the country of Canada uh, in, in my uh, broadcasting. So uh, if any of you uh, are in a position to help me achieve the $10 million of annual revenues so, can I, so I can qualify, uh, for being regulated by Canada, uh, I'd really, really appreciate it. Uh, let me know. Uh, I'm sure we can facilitate it quite easily on an ongoing basis. Um, anyway, uh, registration, uh, uh, all these companies and podcasts, so individual podcasts included, are going to have to register uh, by November 28th this year. Uh, and uh, once they register, they, I'm sure they will be monitored by the Canadian Broadcasting uh, commission and they will be, you know, their content will be either given a thumbs up or thumbs down. They will be screened by government. Uh, I mean, this is just a blatant, unequivocal, unabashed attack on uh, free speech by, by the Canadian authorities. And it, it's disgusting, despicable. Uh, and, uh, it, you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens because Twitter, uh, Facebook, all these companies have to register. Canada's already in a big fight with Facebook over news, uh, a news released on Facebook, now uh, it, 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 that fight might even be broadened. So this is a story to watch. Uh, Elon Musk has already declared this a, uh, a, an attack on free speech. Um, but, um, and it is, it actually is, and this is one I agree with Elon. But uh, we will see. We will see how this develops. We will see how the story uh, works out.